The police sirens are going off. I have a crazy wedding story coming from wedding vendors themselves. They are spilling the tea and I'm here to share it. But first, my name is Katie Sauter. I am a wedding planner. I have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. I also have a link that you can submit your own wedding horror stories to in the link below. Check it out. It's going to be fun. If I pick your story, you will know. <laughs> I will read it out loud on this channel. Tell them the tea, all the tea, any of the tea. Don't forget to flirt with that like button and put a ring on that subscribe. But as always, keep it PG for me, okay? Now let's dive into these stories. Disney themed wedding. And as a wedding planner, I was initially excited to bring the magic of Disney to life for the happy couple. Upon arriving at the venue, I was greeted with a DIY disaster. The decorations resembled a children's birthday party more than a wedding. From a handmade magic carpet serving up as the Aladdin table to centerpieces featuring an, a UP house. During the rehearsal, the bride dropped a bomb shell. Her estranged parents, who hadn't spoken in over 20 years, would be reuniting for the first time at the wedding. Okay, so I have no judgment on the DIY. You want to have a wedding that looks like that? That's none of my business. I'm not going to ever judge anyone for wanting that. Honestly, I think it's kind of neat, but I could see how that would feel tacky. Let's keep going. As a seasoned planner, I was accustomed to handling family dynamics, but this was not something I was excited to deal with. With. The morning of the wedding, I arrived to find the entire wedding party donning Disney princess costumes and wigs complete with stuffed animal bouquets. Wow! <laughs> These people are, are like definitely the, the Disney people, you know? You know the Disney people, right? We all know one person who's a Disney person, right? And these were not professional costumes, but rather something you would find at a Walmart in the Halloween section. Okay. Picture Ariel clutching Flounder and Jasmine with Abu by her side. Despite the unconventional attire, the ceremony began without a hitch. Yay! <laughs> However, as the evening progressed and alcohol flowed freely, tensions escalated. The bride's parents, fueled by alcohol, erupted into a heated argument in the courtyard with threats of violence exchanged. To add to the chaos, the bride herself joined the fray. This is not the day. This is not the day. This is not the day for it. Do I have to say that enough? I don't think so. It's not the day for drama. Anyway, it always seems to be though. Moving on. So the bride joined the fray in a moment of distress, ended up vomiting on her wedding dress. No. Oh, oh. I would, as a planner, I would be trying to step in to, step in to help her and get her at least cleaned up. Maybe some stain removers needed. I always have stain remover in my emergency kit. The situation spiraled out of control, culminating in a police intervention to escort the mother to her hotel, fearing for her safety. I am speechless. I don't even know what to say. Today is not the day. Drama is, is not supposed to happen on the wedding day. You leave that at home. You leave that, you leave that shit at home, okay? Put it aside, swipe it to the, to the left. Wait, is it in Tinder, is it? Swipe right, yeah, swipe it to the left. Okay, that's, that is crazy. All right, that is, I, I would feel so bad for that wedding planner to have to witness that. And for the bride, cause that's her wedding day. Oh no. All right, moving on. Another wedding vendor wrote, I fell in a fountain shooting wedding portraits once, was so into it and was walking backwards while shooting the groomsmen and went over into it, soaked up to my neck and my cameras were cooked. No. <laughs> Luckily, I have photographer friends nearby who came to the rescue and I had a lovely couple who got me dry clothes. That is dedication. That is dedication. I hear about that kind of thing. I've never seen it happen, but oh my God. I've seen some crazy rescues like on, on reels, like uh, Instagram reels from content creators who like make a dive to get the, like a full on sideways dive to get the, the elevator back open for the specific shot. Like I, it's kind of, it can be kind of nuts what your wedding vendors will do for you because they will put their necks on the line sometimes. Oh my gosh. It's nice that they had a couple who was nice and got them dry clothes. Cause I, if that was my wedding, I would 
would feel so bad for the photographer and it would be like you know it's not their fault right in the way that they're really into it they're like shooting and then now now they fell backwards and it's like but man <laughs> I think the groomsmen probably had a good laugh over that, don't you think? Like, they were probably like, oh my god, the photographer. <laughs> the, poor, the poor photographer. Another wedding vendor wrote, yesterday, GPS had my drive time as three hours, got to my car, suddenly unplanned construction plus a detour had me 40 minutes late. Videography arrived one hour late in jorts and a trucker hat. Okay, FaceTimed his baby mama for three hours a time bounced an hour early, started my period, sorry you guys, totally unexpected, running down my legs. No, no, oh no. Bridesmaid collapsed in a grand mall seizure in the middle of the reception. Ah, no, that is an actual emergency. That is an actual emergency. All with me having a head cold. Oh, just a, just a, cherry on top of all of the things right but my couple was amazing that made it easier to handle <laughs> oh at least the couple was good i, I mean the, usually the couple is usually the couple is just happy um but man another vendor wrote this was this past weekend i got a bulk pack of sd cards online um, and for those of you who don't know, SD cards are like the memory cards you put into a camera. Took a handful of them to the wedding and not a single one of them could be formatted. I was freaking out. Literally none of the five I had worked or could be formatted. So no way to save photos. <gasps> That would be, I would, I would die. I mean, I'm not a wedding photographer, but I would be, I would be horrified. Absolutely horrified if that happened to me. Someone wrote, oh my gosh, that's awful. And they responded, yeah, I about died. Luckily I was a second shooter that day and the main photographer had an extra one that worked. Note to self, don't buy memory cards from Amazon. Oh God, no. Well, that's a good tip, right? For all you photographers and photographer wannabes out there. Another vendor wrote, so my worst nightmare happened at my wedding yesterday. Literally had to pinch myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. I arrived with the girls to the venue after doing getting ready photos and I park my car while the limo is dropping them off at the building since it is pouring rain. It was supposed to be an outdoor ceremony, but since it's raining, it's in a small dark cabin. That's not even why it was a nightmare. As soon as I walk down to the ceremony, it was pretty far. I walk in and realize it has already started all the guys are up at the front and as they're all waiting for the bridesmaids to walk down the aisle here comes me soaking wet with my jacket in one hand and massive cup in the other and my backpack with all of my camera gear I look over at my second shooter and the videographer in horror I don't even have time to pull out my other camera or lenses I just start shooting I felt like I was shaking the entire time Apparently the singer from the band mic'd up the groom and they said they were starting. When the bridesmaids told her they were waiting for me, she said, no, you said 3.30, we're going at 3.30. The bride walked down the aisle at 3.35. That is audacity. You're not waiting for the photographer who just has to park their car? Are you kidding me? People pay an arm and a leg for their photography. And that's like, I feel so bad for this photographer. This was clearly not their fault. Um, and I'm just, wow. So if you enjoyed these stories, um, consider subscribing, you know, keep it PG for me though, okay? You know, love that subscribe. But uh, don't forget that if you have your own horror story, feel free to submit it in the link below and um, check out any of my other videos next.